Hey, indexers. If you are looking to transfer your self-stake from Ethereum mainnet to Arbitrum 1 using the stake transfer tool, watch this video the whole way through. Just know that there are a few key steps in this process of transferring your self-stake to Arbitrum 1, such as making sure your wallet addresses are 100% accurate when transferring, and make sure that the transfer of your self-stake has fully gone through within seven days of going through this transfer tooling process. I'll be sure to highlight these key steps as well as others in this video as they are important to ensure your funds transfer safely. If there are any issues along the way, please fill out the form that is linked down in the description below to get in direct contact with developers who can assist you with any issues that you're encountering. Finally, the steps I go over today in this video will be using testnet funds. However, the procedure is exactly the same when using real funds. So let's go through each of the steps right now. Step one is to communicate. If you're in communication with your delegators, encourage them to transfer their delegation to Arbitrum after you have transferred your self-stake. Now, this isn't required, but if you're in communication with your delegators, it is a nice thing to do. The second step is get organized. Here's a checklist that will help you get organized. Number one, you cannot have GRT that is in the process of being unstaked. Number two, if you're using a vesting contract, there's a few more steps involved. I'll link to those steps in the description below. Three, you must have ETH on mainnet to pay for gas fees. And in this case, we'll be using Gorelli ETH. Number four, and this is important, have an index or wallet that you have control of that's on Arbitrum 1, and you are 100% sure of the accuracy of this Arbitrum index or wallet address. This indexer wallet can be an EOA that's on Arbitrum 1 or an indexer multisig wallet that's on Arbitrum 1. This is mission critical. Once you submit an indexer wallet address into the stake transfer tool, it cannot be changed. That means if you put in an address that you do not have control of or an incorrect address, all of your funds will be lost. Please triple check that you have control of the wallet address that will be in control of your staked GRT once the transfer tool has completed its work. Third step, make a plan for how much you want to transfer. When you transfer your self stake, you have a few choices. One, migrate your entire stake. Two, migrate a partial amount. If you want to migrate a partial amount, 100K must remain on Ethereum mainnet and 100K must go to Arbitrum 1. For example, if you have 150k staked on Ethereum mainnet, you would not be able to partially move your funds. However, if you have 200k or more staked, you are able to move 100k to Arbitrum 1 and leave the minimum amount of 100k on Ethereum mainnet. And just know, you can transfer as many times as you want as long as 100k remains on Ethereum mainnet and at least 100k is on Arbitrum 1. And another thing you should know is that you must cover your allocations in a partial transfer. The amount of stake you leave on L1 should be enough to cover your open allocations considering delegation. So you might have to close some or all of your allocations before transferring stake. The tool will let you know if this is the case. Okay, now on to the fourth and final step. Let's transfer our self stake. Now, it's mission critical that we set aside about 20 minutes to ensure that we can see this process all the way through. This process usually takes about 20 minutes, but just in case it fails, we want to be at our computer so we can manually push the transfer through using another feature of the transfer tool that will pop up just in case it fails. This is mission critical because once we initiate this process, it must complete within seven days or our funds will be lost. If you run into this issue, follow the steps that pop up in the UI, and if you're still having issues, please reach out to us in the link below. Okay, enough talk. Let's go through a live demo of the stake transfer tool. I'm on testnet, as I said in the beginning of the video, and you can do the same by going to testnet.thegraph.com and use Grelly Funds to practice this transfer tooling. I'm going to go through that right now. Let's go ahead and go to my wallet, and I'm logged in as an indexer. So I'll go and transfer some of my stake. 
and welcome to the Transfer Stake to Arbitrum Gorelli dashboard. Feel free to read through this. I've talked through a lot of this already. You can initiate stake transfer on Ethereum Gorelli, then wait 20 minutes, and then you'll confirm your transfer. The current wallet I'm logged in on, this is my indexer wallet that I'm logged in on. It's my EOA, and I have 400,000 GRT that's currently staked. And this is the Arbitrum Gorelli wallet that I'll be transferring my funds to. This is the wallet that you want to be 100% sure of. And I'm just going to transfer it to the Arbitrum Gorelli wallet that is also the same address of my current wallet right now. So you can see the ending in BCF2. That is the BCF2 wallet right there. So at this point, if you would like to go and really ensure that this is in your control, just make sure that your multi-sig is yours, make sure that your EOA is yours, do some test transactions, just be 100% sure and make sure that that wallet address is correct because you can't change that once the address has been submitted. So I've already transferred 100,000 uh, GRT in a previous transfer. Remember what I said about 100,000 being on L1 and 100,000 being on Arbitrum? Well, I already did that before. Let's go through another transfer again. So how much do I want to transfer of my 400,000? Let's do another 100,000. Very nice. And let's transfer our stake. Okay. Confirm. And it's going to initiate. And this is where we wait a little bit. And it'll do its thing. I'll fast forward the video until it's complete. And then the timer will start. And I'll fast forward that part as well. Very nice. The stake transfer is initiated. And the timer is going. So I will also... Uh, fast forward this so we can get to the end and see the confirmation and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, there we go. Our Ethereum Gorelli stake has transferred to Arbitrum Gorelli. And just to remind you once again, this exact process that I went through is the same for mainnet GRT. So I just want to thank you for going through this walkthrough. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out in the form linked below in the description. So take care, everyone.